Hey everyone, my name is Alex Bauer. I'm the communication specialist here at PPA, and today we're talking to one of our amazing speakers at this year's Imaging USA, Ryan Sims. Ryan, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing great. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks so much for taking time to, to join us today, Ryan. Yeah, it's, it's great to be here. I'm super excited. Super yeah, awesome. Excited. So why don't you go ahead and uh, tell, tell our audience a little about yourself and sort of uh, your journey as a professional photographer and how you found yourself at Imaging USA. Sure, sure. Oh, man. Where to begin? Um, <laughs> well, I initially started off uh, in, how do I make this a uh, short story? <laughs> I initially started off uh, doing um, uh, like, you know, babies and families. My first uh, photography job ever was portrait innovation. So like just, you know, literally clicking the, you know, the button on the camera, like that was all I ever right. did. <laughs> and, uh, and after doing that, it was, it was a great job, but after doing that, I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna do photography anymore. <laughs> and, and, uh, and then li literally a couple, um, like a year or two later, um, I had found another job. Uh, I got involved with senior photography and then really started to fall in love with it. Um, cause for the first time I was understanding lighting and understanding camera settings and how this actually works. And so I, I really was like, Oh, I could actually do something with this. This is pretty cool. And so I did senior photography, uh, senior photography for a long time. Um, and, and I just had a great boss who, who owned a ton of equipment, allowed me to play around with lighting, to try different, you know, things and uh, anything I wanted to do or create, he would just let me do. And so that really kind of started getting the wheels spinning. And, uh, and as you can tell, I'm, I'm a big nerd, you know, like I, <laughs> I like comics and video games and, and movies and uh, I've been that way my whole life. Um, my bachelor's degree is actually in digital entertainment and game design. Um, and so, yeah, gamer, nerd, all that good stuff. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but you can kind of see, well, I mean, if you know anything about me or my photography, a lot of the stuff that I actually do is, is composite photography. Uh, I kind of specialize in Photoshop and in that area. And of course, a lot of the stuff that I Photoshop is like just crazy, geeky, fun stuff. <laughs> Cosplay yeah. and, and other stuff like that. But, um, but I've always enjoyed doing things that are, that are different. Uh, mm -hmm. And so that's really kind of what got me involved with the long exposure portrait photography. Yeah. And why don't you uh, go ahead and talk to our audience a little bit about that long exposure portrait photography, because that's what you'll be talking about in your class on Monday, January 18th. Yep. Yep. Good little segue there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, so the, uh, the class itself, is a long exposure portrait photography. Um, so we'll be doing a little bit of a light painting. So uh, a lot of um, fun shots in the dark. <laughs> so pretty much just, <laughs> there's going to be moments where we turn the lights off and it's going to be completely pitch black. And so you'll see me shine a flashlight on myself and it'll be great. It'll be super fun. Um, but, yeah. but basically that, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to walk you through some of the techniques, how to achieve certain looks, principles, uh, that are relatively simple, but yet, I mean, to me, I think are kind of profound and the, the possibilities are really endless, uh, when it comes to, um, all the different things and tools that you can use with light painting. Um, mm -hmm. and so during the class, we'll go through several look, uh, several different looks, techniques. Um, uh, and there are moments, like I said before, the, it's going to go pitch black dark. So you'll just hear me talking and there's going to be a black screen. <laughs> It'll be great. Um, and then there's other times, um, uh, where we're just going to be have, talking about uh, ambient light, how to use that to our advantage, uh, mm -hmm. shutter drag, uh, those things. So just, yeah, the tips and tricks um, and several different light painting tools where you can get them, how to use them, uh, and the whole experimentation through that process. Uh, you'll probably hear me repeat myself a lot. I do it uh, quite a bit, so <laughs> you'll see that in the video too. Um, but it's just meant to be fun. You know, it's meant to be um, a new experience for photographers um, if they've never tried it before, uh, a new skill to learn, uh, meant to be kind of eye catching to draw people in. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. What it, what it and is. I mean, <laughs> the, the one fortunate thing about, uh, you know, we're, we're meeting virtually this year as opposed to in person. But the cool thing about that is, uh, the, the audience sort of gets to see into your studio and sort of see you, uh, in your element, so to speak, uh, you know, right there in your, where you do your work most of the time, as opposed to, to a presentation stage. Um, on that note, what are you, what makes you excited to participate in Imaging USA this year in particular? Oh, man. Oh, well, for one, I get to experience it from the comfort of my home. <laughs> no, right. I, would love, I would love to be there in person. Gosh, I just, I would love to see 
any people in person. Yeah. <laughs> it's just been yeah. kind of in that year. Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, I, I'm super excited to see what, what people are doing. Um, mm-hmm. You know, especially with 2020 and, and the way that the, the year has been, uh, I'm really excited to see what new innovations and uh, things people are doing. Um, gosh, it, I've got friends that are in 3D creating virtual studios for people. I'm like, I would have never thought of that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, I want to try to learn how to make virtual photo studios in 3D. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so just little things like that um, that have really, really got me excited. So. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a cool time to sort of experiment with new ideas, learn new things. I think, you know, the, the, this is a perfect opportunity, Imaging USA, for, for people to do that, to sort of branch out a little bit and explore, like you said, new techniques, new ideas about uh, ways to show work, things like that. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I mean, I definitely think it's important, um, well, at least from my perspective, uh, you know, sometimes we can get in that business mode. Mm-hmm. Just like, go, 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 let's do this. We've got to, you know, get to the next next paycheck or something like that. And don't get me wrong, like, all those things are very important. Mm-hmm. But uh, sometimes it's just good to sit back and just have fun and really experience the the joy of why we got into this to begin with, you know, the joy of photography. Uh, and really, that's kind of what led me to do this class because it's just, you know, playing around. And, and this is something I've done for a while, but at the same time, really kind of honing in, uh, you know, honing that craft, uh, whether it be through light painting, long expo- exposure photography or, or whatever, now's the time. Like now's the time. Mm-hmm. We've got a lot of photographers have a lot of downtime. So now's the time to really hone our skills, uh, get better, learn more and, uh, and just, just grow, you know? <laughs> yeah. I love that. That's a great message. Um, yeah. Awesome. Well, do you have anything else to add today, Ryan? Any other, uh, bits or tips <laughs> you want to give to our viewers? Um, man, uh, you know, honestly, um, just have fun, just have fun. I mean, it, it's just to try something new because mm-hmm. we've got the time to do it, uh, and, and, and to be creative. Uh, we've really never had, uh, more time to do that, uh, in, in this, in today's world in 2020 for sure. Um, and like I was saying before, you know, it's, we get in the hustle and bustle of things. And sometimes we might just kind of lose our, our first joy uh, of why we started doing this to begin with. And so uh, it's, it's kind of like what Jack Nicholson says in the shining. It's like all, all work and no play makes you <laughs> like a dull boy. <laughs> and so, I mean, you really can't, um, it, it's good to have those, those paying gigs and always kind of be looking forward and being innovative on, on how we can thrive in a culture where, we can't really meet in person anymore and we can't do all the things that we used to do. Um, but uh, again, I think it's such a great opportunity just to have fun and be creative and really kind of keep that, those, those creative juices flowing and, and just keep the joy in what we do. No one wants to experience burnout, you know? Mm-hmm. And so, um, and really that's kind of the heart behind this class It's like, let's just do something fun. And, uh, and maybe people have done this before, but, you know, or maybe it's something brand new, but uh, yeah, let's just have fun with it and, um, and, and teach and learn along the way. So. Awesome. Yeah. That's a great message. I can't wait to watch your class at Imaging USA this year, Ryan. Thank you again for taking the time out of your day to speak with us. Dude, Alex, thank you, man. I really (laughs) (laughs) For those of you watching, you can visit imagingusa.org to register for the class and find out all the details about Ryan's class, when it'll be taking place, all that good stuff. Thank you again, Ryan, for your time today. Dude, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you.